cool. That's kicked in. Let's check it out. We got Twitch is kicked in. Sensor tube is kicking in. There's sensor tube. And the rumble should be kicking in shortly. Nice. We'll wait until the rumble kicks in and we'll do our little intro. Oop, hold on, let me do this. Yep, that's good there. Let's bring on the chat on rumble and hey, where is the chat on sensor tube? There's the chat on sensor tube. Well, I gotta move this guy up a little bit and there is our thing with Jiggy. I still need to see if we get kicked in. I'm just gonna do a little salutations, salutations, and a doink, and rumble is kicked in. Very nice, very nice. Temporary piece, how are you doing? Availability, I saw your message at 11.59. You're like, am I early <laughs> on Twitch? Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is December 3rd, 2023. Twice cooked pork. First time chat. No, you've chatted here before. Twice cooked pork. I don't know why. Uh, maybe you changed your name a little bit. Salutations, brother. Or sister, of course. Or sister, of course. Sisters can have twice cooked pork as well. <laughs> Power and glory on sensor tube. Salutations from England. From England. Salutations right back from west coast of Canada. Matthew on sensor tube. Good evening, Chicho. Good evening. Good evening. Real Xenomorph on Twitch. Good evening. Good evening as well. Gang, today is December 3rd, 2023, and we're doing our mapping global conflicts map part 10 part 10 right part 10 um i'm not sure where we when we started temper peace and rumble as well salutations um greetings dr p hope you're doing well elder god good evening everyone good evening uh so we started this whole series uh, a few months ago <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing it was over a year ago. Um, probably, I don't know how long. I don't know when we did our first one. Uh, because we sort of figured things were going to get more intense. And uh, jam so good. Granted, oh, my pleasure, Dr. P. Dr. P in our auction, yearly auction, he won four jams and a honey. Uh, Cornelian cherry jam with pits, be careful. Uh, plum jam, uh, blackberry jam, and... What was the other jam? Uh, and then there was honey, and then, oh, quince. Quince jam, I think. Yeah, uh, I was spitting the piss. Nice, nice. Yeah, so good, Cornelian cherries, eh? Cornelian cherry, cherries, phenomenal, man. Handpicked by me and my partner, and cooked up. <laughs> also, I'm glad you liked. Uh, but gang, the reason we started Global Conflicts map was because uh, we could see the direction everything was going, and we needed to talk about it and uh, back in 2012 i did i was writing a lot of articles geopolitical articles in uh, mid 2000s all the way up to early 2010s and i decided that i was going to stop writing that stuff uh, geopolitical articles in-depth geopolitical articles uh, because i wasn't interested in documenting the carnage that was to come because you could see it coming a mile away if you were paying attention plutonic blurs how are you doing hope you're doing good um so i'm glad i pulled out of writing geopolitical articles is because it's brutal and that brutality is being revealed for the world to see here right and that brutality has been going on for a very long time but what we're seeing right now is acts of desperation on every front specifically from the western world acts of desperation uh nato europe united states they're going scorched earth anywhere they cannot control okay they're flaring up conflicts that should have been long gone long dead and buried all over the world they are amplifying conflicts in places where uh they think they can divert people's attention away from other things that are happening uh, there's so much going on 
geopolitically and locally, economically, financially. Uh, and that is what we've been talking about in the last nine videos. Uh, and this is the tenth one that we're doing. Uh, we've pretty much laid down the groundwork of what's going on. We called Argentina a civil war uh, a while ago. Brazil was a civil war, civil war, and it, I think it is personally a civil war. Well, we took it down because we had someone from Brazil saying, okay, stabilize a little bit uh, compared to when Bolsonaro was there. But Lula is uh, a globalist world economic forum clown as well, right? Left clown, right clown, same agenda, same agenda, right? So I think we're going to see things flare up. Venezuela, Guyana, there's going to be a little bit of conflict flaring up there. So there's a lot going on, a lot going on. Elder God, 17th February 2023 was first mapping stream. So almost a year. So we did 10 in less than a year. Wow, wow, wow. Right? So we did uh, ours, uh, the Russian military, special military operations, they call it. Western world calls it a war. Uh, those who have been paying attention is a civil war that has turned into a proxy war right that's what that is really uh ukraine started the special military operation starting february 20 february 24th 2022 so almost a year uh, within a year we started doing these global mapping uh, streams cheryl how are you doing salutations hope everyone's having a great sunday by the way um and that's where we are politically lots of flare-ups going on here as well lots of flare-ups going on here as well thailand seems to be a uh focal point uh at least for next it will be for next three four five years okay plutonic blurist on twitch as well salutations hi dame sherry and sir elder haha <laughs> elder gaza and sensitive as well <laughs> we got everyone everywhere Laugh out loud box, awesome map, thank you. I bought this baby uh, in 2001, I believe. Either 2001 or 2002. Uh, might have been 2000, right? I had it on my wall uh, for a number of years. And what I did, the first thing I wanted to do with this was uh, map out US mil military bases all over the world. So I printed off little american flags and i put them on toothpicks and i had these things and you can see some of the because these things leave stains like these uh i don't want to promote anything so i'm just going to bring them out just show you i bought these uh these kinds of things right and i made little balls with them this is what i did i made little balls like this and i would put them on the map right so we know that us has military bases uh, where is this island uh maldives i think has military oh uh no well, where is it uh, uh which island is it diego diego garcia so diego garcia is there right and i take my little flag and with an American flag put up there, right? I was blown away. After I did this whole thing, there was American flags everywhere. And at the time, I had students come to my house to learn math. And I had this on the wall because I'm collecting data. And some of the students would look at the stuff and go, oh, what are these? I go, oh, those are American military bases. And they'd go, what the fuck? <laughs> Just the same way I did. And I was like, wow, what the fuck? That's a lot of military bases, right? So that's why I bought this map initially. Uh, I wanted uh, taxa, is it called taxa? Something that I could actively do and just visualize, right? Instead of just a screen. Uh, and it was cool, it was cool. Plutonic uh, ASMR sound opportunity. <laughs> sound opportunity. Nicholas, salutations. Hey, Nicholas, check out our gilded server, right? Uh, in the mod section, because you're a mod there too. You should be a mod there as well. Uh, I asked you when would be a good time for a relationship stream. I didn't hear back from you, so I didn't book one in the last two sessions. We're going to do honey jarring video on Tuesday. Uh, but let me know which days and times work for you for a relationship stream um, that you were 
uh, sort of uh, recommending, requesting. Well, we call it teacher gum. Where I call it. is teacher gum? Is that what it's called? Cool. Cool. So Nicholas up. Yes, he is. He is. Yeah, yeah. So I thought too. Yeah, Elder God. Uh, not Elder God. Nicholas, let me know uh, which days and times. I don't think we can do one next week, next weekend, but uh, we'll try one out maybe the following weekend, depending. Chicho Chu TV. Hi, Chicho. And Chaz, salutations, salutations. Nicholas, no worries. We'll check Gilded. Awesome, awesome. Glad I made it, made it on time. You made it on time. We just started. We just started. Right? Uh, so that's what's going on right now. I'm not sure. Has there been any major changes taking place? Uh, any major changes taking place? Egypt, we have to deal with to a certain degree. It's not in a full out war. It's not in a civil war. It's not supporting war, but it's on the verge of all three of those, right? Dangerous times, dangerous times. Um, there are also proxies. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it? Organizations within the Middle East that are basically at war with Israel right now in the United States with the West. Uh, it's crazy times. Elder God, you said you bought the map between invasions. Very poetic. Yeah. It was pre-2003. That's for sure. Uh, before the Iraq invasion. Was it before they went into Afghanistan? I can't remember if it was before or not. Uh, but it was around that period. Crazy times. Crazy times. Panic. I saw Switzerland have over 8... Eight billion dollars worth of Russian money. Yeah, Switzerland became a joke. JS on sensor tube. Salutations, salutations. Yeah, Switzerland became a joke. Switzerland should have stayed neutral. It's not neutral anymore, which means it's going to go through some serious financial difficulties because it's not neutral anymore, right? Uh, da, da, da. Peanut butter pumpkin party, Chicho. I received my package. Thank you so much. The cars are so cool. Awesome, awesome. Packages are sl slowly starting to get in there. Uh, which is great, which is great, Cheryl Chicho, especially with the Red Sea drama today, uh, maybe yesterday. Red Sea drama, what happened? Are, are you talking about Yemen uh, seizing tankers, uh, shipping uh, uh, Israeli uh, cargo ships? From what I understand, they've seized five of them. Is that what we're talking about? Uh, there's so much stuff going on, like it's crazy. My question to everyone is now that we've talked about all these proxy wars why this stuff is going on and whatnot we sort of have to start talking about and we have to a certain degree but really what's their final agenda right because the west the world economic forum globalists psychopaths they started with an agenda to control everything right that has been uh sidetracked right because russia didn't collapse they couldn't balkanize it uh china is not bending the knee uh, the whole world is witnessing a genocide in real time iran hezbollah uh, have played their cards incredibly well okay probably with the guidance of russia right uh, the United States is crumbling, crumbling, right? Canada, in all regards, is a totalitarian state, okay, complete fascist, like literally fascistic, okay, communal fascistic. Canadian economy is woo, rolling over, mad, mad, right? Europe is in complete freefall, right? So those agendas that these people had pre-2020, right? Uh, has fallen apart so where do we think they're going why they continue to push this is this last desperate move right joe on twitch chicho what do you think about what's happening with venezuela yeah boop, boop. lonely piggy salutations thank you very much uh for the twitch prime sub brother up for 15 months, right? Uh, interesting. 
at my this is the Monroe doctrine in large part right um, Brazil is joining OPEC plus Nigeria is saying that they want to join the BRICS they will join OPEC plus 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 maybe right OPEC plus is OPEC plus Russia it was now Brazil is going to be a part of it Venezuela at some point will be part of it if it's not already part of it Nigeria might become a part of it so what we're seeing is huge blocks or block being formed to resist Western tyranny and it is Western tyranny and to protect their nations from the impending collapse of the Western world economically socially um, on every front right uh, so I think these and that's people call it the global south people some people call it the global majority are really getting together right now and forming their economic blocks not military blocks but economic blocks because in large part this is economic warfare not just geopolitically but also internally our governments western governments are waging economic warfare on us our citizens of their nations that must be obvious anyone with a half an ounce of brain that has looked at Canada 100% that is going on banks seized froze people's bank accounts for five dollar donations to a peaceful Canadian grassroots movement economic warfare on Canadians right so the rest of the world is not oblivious to this right the trucker movement in Canada showed this you, you had the trucker movement in Canada rise up and you had trucker convoys movements being conducted in venezuela in bolivia in europe in africa in in uh where else did we see it we, we saw it in large parts of europe we saw it in the united states we saw it in mexico right so in latin america europe and the rest of uh north america central america we saw the trucker movement sort of mimicking the canadian trucker movement right that wasn't because they thought it was cool to have a convoy that was because they saw tyranny they realized we're living under tyrannical regimes and they resisted right the tyranny rolling out in the Western world basically the orange marks here okay is obvious to the global majority a lot of people in Canada oh the legend sorry I gotta put the legend in Canada uh, majority of people are oblivious to this they are unfortunately like I can honestly tell you many Canadians they're waking up to it slowly I'm seeing interaction with uh, I'm having interactions with people which is mind-boggling uh, to me because whoop, there's our map because I'm going into banks and bank tellers and bank manager I had a bank manager tell me that Canadian small business has been annihilated uh, they're having to renegotiate tons of loans with small business and individuals the Canadian government shut down the economy in Canada for two years small annihilated small business right they gave small business money to see them through for the amount of time that they locked them down for and now they've come back and said oh that wasn't money giveaway right it was a loan so we want that money back so the money the Canadian government gave to individuals as well and small business right for shutting down the economy look at no time in history has anything like this happened on on this level right they shut down the economy and said okay you guys don't need to work sit at home watch social media get on social media watch TV right <laughs> go go boom boom right shut down small business meanwhile Walmart McDonald's and all these Wall Street corporations international were allowed to stay open Costco and stuff right and then they said we'll support you because we're doing this to you right you can call it whatever you want I got pretty nasty words for it myself right and then Two years later the economy hasn't gone back up to where it was right small business annihilated in 
towns all over Canada, right? Some of them barely making ends meet. They have to downsize. Canadian government now comes out and says that money we gave you, give it back. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. I don't know what you say, but I say that's tyranny, right? Did I miss Free Assange? Oh, Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange, the publisher, a journalist. Someone that's being crucified by centralized power for revealing to us what the game is at play, right? For bringing us facts, truth, right? As he stated, wars are started with lies peace can be started with the truth right and they shut him down they got him rotting in prison in the uk crucifying a journalist right what they do to julian assange they are doing to us wake the f up for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available on free speech platforms. Joe on SensorTube, thank you for the reminder. Don't worry about it. Salutations on SensorTube, killed in. Salutations on SensorTube, my favorite conspiracy theorist. Factual, factual information. I'm just gonna get caught up on uh, the chat on Twitch. Elder God, I said after Af Afghanistan stream. Okay, after Afghanistan stream, I grabbed this. Thank you, Elder God. I like your memory. Uh, Real Xenomorph, they attacked U.S. warships a couple of hours ago. They attacked U.S. warships as well as targeted some other ships. Crap. In the Red Sea? Yemen. Yeah, I'm assuming. How many people think this is all going to be contained? I don't. We're in World War Three, Cheryl. Yeah, that's what happened. Hey, I missed it. Uh, Lonely Piggy, hello all. Happy to catch another stream. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Lonely Piggy availability. I watched uh, Sticks Hammer video, and he think Biden is basically salivating at the thought of a missile hitting a U.S. warship. One hundred percent. It would be the perfect excuse to declare war against Yemen. Yeah, one hundred percent. And you know what? They'll bomb the shit out of Yemen. And then what's going to happen is bases are going to get attacked in Iraq, in Turkey, in, I'm pretty sure they have something in Egypt, in Ethiopia. Okay. All over the world. All over the world, you're going to see flare up, flare up, flare up, which is what we've been talking about, which is where we are going, right? Uh, and if it escalates, you can pretty much kiss U.S. Navy goodbye, right? If it escalates to too high a level. If they continue to bomb and use their fucking whatever, right? They're going to have to be resupplied. And then we'll see if there's any ships coming from the United States to resupply those, anything coming from Europe to resupply and stuff like this basically this is this is where the west is right this is where the west is they blew their fucking load on russia and ukraine they don't have enough to do too much else right they got all these warships here supposedly to help israel commit genocide in gaza right it's supposed to be a deterrent against Hezbollah joining in, Syria joining in, Yemen joining in, Iran joining in, Turkey joining in, Iraq joining in. All the fucking fanatics that they, the West gave rise to in the Middle East joining in the way they funded Al-Qaeda in Iraq, in Afghanistan, right? They're going to have from here up, different factions joining in niger already joined told europe to go fuck itself no pipeline going from nigeria to europe hey france market price for uranium we talked about this right 
Libya, Algeria, Egypt. Oh my, my. Right? Get ready, gang. Get ready. He's, how is Trudeau's popularity in Canada? I know he's detested by the Muslim due to his stance. He's, look, in Canada, in this Canada, the education, indoctrination system in Canada has been pretty strong. I've been educating math, physics. At the beginning, I was doing chemistry as well. Teaching elementary and high school kids mainly. My range has been six years old to 84 year old. I've taught math to, right? But most of it is elementary school and high school. I've seen the education system in Canada uh, completely collapse, right? Garbage, garbage. If you were some advice, free advice, people say free advice is not worth anything. I say free advice, depending on advice, could be worth its weight in gold, in its words, how many letters it uses, right? So fucking free advice. To Canadians that might be listening, if you have kids, pull your fucking kids out of school in centralized indoctrination centers. I don't care if they're private or if they're public. You need to homeschool your kids. You need to know what it is that your kids are being indoctrinated with. Because for the last 15 years, Canada, the centralized indoctrination center, education they call it, has been indoctrinating children in the communist fascist but they don't call it fascist because people are people are sort of ooh, fascist they, they, they has certain triggers it does to people right but communist for some reason it doesn't so they've been flying under the umbrella of communism in Canada I've had students tell me that commun communism is the answer in the last 15 years right so they've been pushing a communist agenda last week I had a discussion with uh, extended family Jewish uh, and they know their history right and we we're talking about education how bad it is and stuff like this and I turned to her and said look I don't want you to take this the wrong way right I don't want you to take this the wrong way or what I'm about to tell you is not lessening the impact of history right? what took place but I turned to her right? and I said what's been going on in canada in centralized indoctrination centers is the same thing that happened in the 1930s in nazi germany it's like indoctrinating the hitler youth and she said Chicho, i 100 percent agree with you i was like what you see it she goes 100 percent, i see it that is exactly what it is i go I wasn't expecting you to say this, right? I said, because people really don't appreciate how bad this shit is. This shit is bad. The kids that are being indoctrinated in Canada in centralized schooling and parents have walked away from it. They're letting the state indoctrinate them. Don't realize that it is identical to what they were doing in Nazi Germany with the Hitler youth. These kids are ridiculously dangerous, right? Unfortunately, they're kids. They don't know better, right? Parents, as Krishnamurti would say, we forfeited our right, right? We don't love our kids because we're allowing the state to fucking indoctrinate them as the Hitler youth were indoctrinated during World War II, right? Pre-World War II in the 1930s okay that's the situation in canada so when who it was who's uh, hazy says what's trudeau's popularity with this indoctrination okay there's between 20 to 30 percent of canadians that are woke leftoid low iq mofos right there's many that have our youth right there was more before by the way they're slowly starting to get it they're going, holy shit, this, this is wrong, right? I've talked to people who are full-blown full communists. They were voting for NDP before, and they're like, no fucking way we vote for NDP ever again, ever again. Their solution is to vote the Communist Party, right? <laughs> so that's another <laughs> going the wrong direction, right? But at least they're realizing 
who their heroes were, the people, the parties they idolized, they completely destroyed uh, Canada, right? So there is about 20%, 20 to 30% that support the NDP and the liberals. Uh, but that's dwindling. That means there's about 20 to 30 percent of Canadians which are full on low IQ. Just some of the up to date boosted <laughs> mofos you ever met, right? That will never uh, um, uh, accept that they might have made a mistake, okay? Kaldine, ah, Chicho, my favorite because was at that. I heard that. Elder God, don't forget to like the stream. Oh, yeah, gang, don't forget to like the stream. It helps Chicho get promoted on here. Indeed. Thank you, Elder God. <laughs> JS25 on uh, Sensor 2. Might be wrong here, but you're against communism, fascism, and capitalism. Uh, I'm against centralization. Centralization. Decentralize everything. Plutonic Flores on Twitch. I'm going back to Twitch, read up the chat, get caught up. Uh, is there a kind of small rebellion in Canada going on with one or some regional governments rejecting the federal uh, government's green policies? Yes, there are. And individuals are doing that as well. But it's going to take time because these, they're really World Economic Forum globalist traitors to our nation. They're, they've been implanted in all levels of the bureaucracy here and bureaucracy in canada is fucking horrendous 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 right horrendous i'll give you guys more info about that later okay uh please can we have key please yes elder god i kicked it up my apologies yeah i got you next time when we do this remind me so i put it up right away i keep on forgetting about it uh if we talk about Plus size is all right, as long as it's not used for woke agenda. I'm going to scroll down again. Cheryl, good idea, Ichicho. If you run through the colors, I can pin a key. Okay. Uh, my apologies. I keep on forgetting to do this. I, my apologies. Um, Plutonic players, Polish truckers and farmers are blocking parts of the border uh, of Poland to Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine. Ukraine. Poland is blocking the truckers are blocking any grains and stuff coming into poland slovakia is doing the same hungary is doing the same so right now and i don't think there's anything going to belarus right so i don't think there's any shipments of grains or any products going out of ukraine through belarus poland has blocked it slovakia has blocked it uh hungary is blocking it moldova is just landlocked you can't ship anything out it's got no access to the black sea and then there's Romania. So right now, as far as I know, the only place that Ukraine can ship anything out, foods, food stuff, grains and whatever, wheat or whatnot, is through Romania. Right? That's it. How many billions of dollars did the Western world burn in Ukraine? Right? What is it? 500,000 Ukrainians dead now? They're sending women, pregnant women, to the front lines. As far as Ukraine is concerned, what's going to happen in all this? We all know Russia already won it. They won it as soon as it started, right? They won it as soon as Russia didn't crumble under you, you know, Western sanctions, right? But when all is said and done in Ukraine, my guess is all the pieces of shit traitors to ukraine that had multiple opportunities bread blood singers thank you very much for uh, subscribing all the ukrainian leaders that had opportunities to sign peace treaties to have uh, uh, minsk one they could have implemented there would be no more minsk two they could have implemented no more there was a treaty a month after the special military operation that Zelensky and Ukraine, your representative, signed, and I believe it's a sign him in Turkey before Boris Johnson went in on orders of the United States to prevent that peace treaty from being signed. I think all those fucking pieces of shit, Ukrainian so-called leaders or puppets, right? 
that didn't take every opportunity to stop an unnecessary war that did not need to happen, where it annihilated Ukraine, half a million fucking dead in Ukraine, plus let's say 50,000 dead Russians. Russians will never fucking forget that shit, right? So Russia is done with the West. But my guess is when all is said and done, Ukrainians will hunt down every one of those motherfuckers and take him off the board, right? Because those motherfuckers took kickbacks, billions upon billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars. They bought yachts and mansions all over the world. They got bank accounts, woo, maxed out, right? FTX, crypto is even going through Ukraine. 10% for the big guy, don't forget that shit, right? Once Ukrainians wake up to what the Western world politicians and traitors to their nations did to their country, I think they're going to hunt the motherfuckers down. I'd be fucking really scared if I was Boris Johnson. I'd be fucking pissing myself right now, right? As he should be. As he should be. Gang, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll down. Da, 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 da. Happy Sunday, brother, Mr. Twitter. Keldin, I disagree that Russia won the war. Uh, I was clear that Putin wanted Kiev. No, no, uh, Keldin, Putin. <laughs> Russia does not want Western Ukraine, okay? Every, we, everybody knows this now. It's a fucking fact, right? It's a fucking fact. Russia put their fucking... They went up there and said, sign the peace treaty. And Ukraine was signing the peace treaty before Boris Johnson rep from the US NATO came in and fucked it up right no you got to get caught up with information maybe you should be watching news and stuff on twitch and on rumble and interacting there because what you're saying is things that you probably heard only on sensor tube and you're not getting the full picture on sensor tube right you need to get caught up you in grade two we already graduated right because he has a lot of losses what is alex says what does russia winning the war mean russia winning the war means russia stays intact russia uh growth rate last month was five percent europe is in a recession russia's growing five percent their reserves are increasing they got full employment up the yin yang they're paying people to have kids in Russia. Their connections to the rest of the world are fucking tight now, right? The BRICS, which was just a shadow of what it is now three years ago, two years ago, is now one of the most powerful economic blocks on the global stage, right? What do you mean, what does Russia want? Russia protected the citizens, Russian speaking citizens in Ukraine, right? Russia got their historic land in Crimea back, right? What is the question here is let's assume Russia hasn't won anything, right? Let's say they're even Steven, right? What is US, Europe, and Ukraine lost? because they fucking lost a lot, right? They fucking lost a lot. Ukraine's population is not half of what it used to be. Half a million dead. Who knows how many fucking injured. Sending pregnant women to the fucking front lines. Germany, fucking economic annihilation, right? England, fucking, they got nothing. <laughs> the little lap dogs on their knees, sucking and swallowing here right us what are you kidding me what is us one i don't know go ask the homeless in san francisco in new york and in, in chicago what a fucking disaster i'm scrolling down gang i'm scrolling down okay i'm gonna i'm going all the way down gang i've totally missed so much stuff uh, Nicholas Chicho, uh, not next weekend, but any of the weekends following suits me if it works for you. Okay, Nicholas, we'll, we'll maybe we'll try it out during Christmas time. 
during Christmas break. Joe Chicho, what do you think of the Florida Democrats canceling the democracy in order to save the democracy? <laughs> yeah. Florida, DeSantis, DeSantis, uh, check this out. So DeSantis did the right thing regarding the lockdowns and medical tyranny and shit like this. But DeSantis showed his true colors during a speech that he gave uh, three years ago or something like this, right? And it was regarding Twitter, right? Where he came out and said, uh, Twitter, it was when Twitter uh, censored Trump. I know, so it was four years ago or something like this, like whatever it was, right? He's, Twitter censored Trump, right? And DeSantis gave a little uh, uh, talk, a little speech press conference press conference that's the word i was looking for press conference where he said uh twitter is censoring the president of the united states but they're allowing iran the ayatollah or some shit like this to say that israel must be annihilated or some crap like this so the santas the little zionist puppet Right, little Zion, that goes to Israel to sign a bill for Florida, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, right? This fucking governor here flies to Israel to sign a bill for a law to take in a, into effect that affects Florida. What the fuck? <laughs> what? It's like the province, the leader of the province of British Columbia flying to fucking, I don't know, where do you want to fly into? Same distance. <laughs> I don't know, let's do this. Here, this far, right? So let's see, where can we fly to? Uh, boing. Okay. Flies to Norway to sign a bill that affects Canadian citizens that live in British Columbia. Why? How, how's that fucking process with people? So DeSantis showed his true colors, right? Where it was warmongering against Iran with, without even fucking, it wasn't even relevant, right? And then now he's like, uh, democracy died with, as soon as you started criti criticizing, questioning the behavior of those you are not allowed to question. Right? As the saying goes, you want to find out who rules over you, figure out who you're not supposed to criticize. Right? And that's it. Dos Santos is a clown. I'm scrolling down, I'm scrolling down, I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling down. Oh, wow, lots of chat. Shoo. Uh, panic new Chicho. What do you guys say about Romania? I'm from there. Well, Romania, uh, panic. Uh, Poland? Uh, Slovakia and now Hungary are preventing grain uh, shipments going f to travel uh, across the border, right? So Poland, Slovakia, and Hungary have basically closed the border with Ukraine. I don't think anything is going through Belarus. Uh, Moldova doesn't have any navy, right? Or no uh, seaports, right? Uh, there, nothing's going to go through Russia, right? So the only country left that Ukraine can send exports through, grain specifically, is going to be through Romania. That's what we mentioned regarding Romania. Okay. I'm scrolling down, scrolling down. I'm all the way down to the chat on uh, Twitch. Oh, there's uh, chat Pascal on Rumble. Ayo, Chicho, talking about war. Jew Man Hat, salutations. Thank you very much for Twitch Prime sub two months in a row. Woohoo! Uh, Talking about uh, war, I'm watching this during my military service. Ooh, cheers to you. I hope you don't go out anywhere. I hope you, in one of these peaceful countries, that they're not going to be going anywhere. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, sorry, I think uh, this got uh, sent. No worries, no worries, Pascal. And welcome to our live stream on Rumble, on Rumble. Oh, Joe Chicho, uh, did you see how all of the homeless in San Francisco disappeared when Xi um, came to visit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's something that China uh, stipulated. They said they don't want, if Xi Jinping comes to San Francisco, right, San Francisco, boop, uh, all the homeless must disappear. 
there can't be any graffiti on the walls and they can't there can't be any chinese protest like tibet uh, people from tibet tibet protesting china or anyone that's anti-china protest right so check this out the government the some people will say the dictator of china i don't know if you want to call a dictator if that their dictator for us's dictatorship right uh same crap right but the leader of china dictated terms to california san francisco saying i will only visit you if you take american citizens that are homeless right that don't have anywhere to live that are living on the street which is their right right this is as an american citizen well i'm not american as a canadian citizen if i don't have a home to live in as a canadian i can go live on the street right americans can do the same thing so the leader of china told the governor of california right to uh, gather up american citizens take away their rights and clean up all the graffiti and prevent people from demonstrating if he was going to come and visit san francisco who rules over you who rules over you who rules over you uh joe chicho i don't think you took into consideration the curvature of the earth with that uh, measurement no, i probably didn't <laughs> thanks for pointing that out <laughs> it would have been so from here to here is longer way longer than from here to here right because it bulges up here right equator here's the equator so it gets more land right africa is way bigger than this right way bigger than this i'm scrolling down i'm scrolling down newsome is so weak newsome is a piece of crap total tyrant shithead right we locked down all of california during in the last two years and he was going out to restaurants and dining like mad party it up party it up right wow the tyrants what they do good for thee but not for him right da, 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 da. it's only switzerland no war here oh you're in switzerland you're only supporting war pascal and pascal you're in switzerland right switzerland used to be neutral it's not neutral anymore switzerland's still in deep shit okay not as much as the rest in the rest of europe western europe western europe is fucked F fucked right but switzerland is not as in good shape as it was before okay it's not i have friends that live in switzerland as well da, 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 da. let's check this out i'm just going to go to sensitive and read the last like three or four chats uh js25 well i support neither i would rather live in a world of bricks plus than nato nato is collapsing hardcore like the amount of freedom people have in russia is way more than the freedom people have in canada fuck way fucking more way more like way more you can't even fucking compare it in moscow they try to roll out injection mandates right for stores and stuff like this and people rose up and they took it back no injection mandates businesses can't close down you don't need to show passport to go inside a restaurant to eat in canada they locked down the whole fucking country and you couldn't go to a restaurant to eat you couldn't even go to a restaurant to if you ordered food for pickup to wait inside the restaurant to pick up your food because i did that right we didn't have passport i ain't gonna fucking show papers to go eat in a fucking restaurant are you fucking i don't give a shit who the dictator is right we ordered food i went inside the restaurant to pick up the food it wasn't ready yet so i just sat in the corner and they're like uh, papers please i go what the fuck are you talking about papers please i'm not sitting down to eat here they said no 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 to be inside this establishment you must show papers please otherwise you have to go wait outside that's the last time i ordered a restaurant by the way right so i said okay so in the rain, I want to wait it in the rain, right? Outside until my food was ready because I didn't show papers, please. Where, where is that? What do we put on ourselves? Yellow star? No, that's fucking Canada. 
right? Any Canadians that are watching this, if you think I'm exaggerating, wake the fuck up, you fucking clowns, right? How do you feel about that shit? Wait, did you get fucking... Are you up to date with your boosters? Did you sh show your papers so pleasantly? I'm a Canadian. I'm so pleasant. I'm going to show you. Here's my papers. Can you scan me, please? I can come inside the restaurant to eat. Do you realize what you did? Do you realize it now? Fuck six. Clowns. Clowns. JS. Also, there's another guy called Sean Fu, and he makes similar points to what you say. I don't know Sean Fu. I'm just as on sensor tube. I'm reading comments. Alex, what do you think, Chicho? I I think I have a valid question regarding Ukrainian citizens. What was the question, Alex? I didn't catch it, Alex. I'm reading. I try to. Uh, you got to highlight my name if you, if you want me to answer a question. Otherwise, I don't see it because um, I got three chats going like this. So, uh, or come to Twitch um, because it's more active there. I tend to keep a uh, closer eye on Twitch, right? Uh, Nifitz, quote, who rules over you? Great question. I fear we'll never know. Certainly no one who's accountable. Yeah, and we don't know their names. We just know the names of their puppets, right? Jeremy Males, do you realize what countries you're viewers come from i am in uk just notice uh, someone else yeah 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 we have a, we have a like uh, viewers a lot of people from the uk a lot of people from europe uh some people from south america uh, some from uh united states fair bit from united states actually fair bit from united states and some hardcore people from canada who know what the fuck is going on right we've got some people from australia not too many from uh new zealand um got some people from russia i think Right. Alex uh, Chicho is written above, but to repost it. Okay. Do you think support? Do you think support Ukrainian civilians? Do, do you support Ukrainian civilians trying to defend their own land, even if you disagree with the uh, politicians? The civilians should protect their land. I agree with people for protecting their land. However, I disagree when there's a civil war in a country when the people of one part of the civil war are committing genocide on another part of the people in the civil war right so for example in ukraine the western ukrainians came out made russian illegal pulled all russian books from um, their schools and their libraries and stuff like this they said people cannot communicate in russian right and they started bombing donbass from 2014 they burned ukrainians that spoke russian alive in odessa right so do i support Western Ukrainians committing genocide on Eastern Ukrainians? Fuck no. Do I support people, the international community, stepping in to prevent the genocide? Fuck yes, right? This region, this yellow mark that we have here, it was a civil war, right? That would became a proxy war, right? That became a global war if you want to think about it because that's where it is right now okay economic war on every front right this isn't as simple as you you being a nice little happy dancing dude everybody loving hugging each other and then all of a sudden the nation comes and invades you try to take your land right no this was a fucking civil war where western ukrainians were committing genocide in eastern ukrainians and saying anybody that speaks russian in ukraine must leave ukraine anybody that has russian ancestry in ukraine must leave ukraine all of ukraine including crimea uh donbass region all of eastern ukraine you must go or we'll kill you right it wasn't russia saying unprovoked we will take over those regions no no it wasn't that bullshit right it wasn't that stuff uh pascal i like the, 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 the on rumble there's one or two people chatting so i can uh, i can get caught up pretty fast pascal i agree man i work in banking so i have been a, a banning of russian citizens from opening accounts and even uh closing existing ones that isn't new neutral and it makes me very sad how we as a nation betrayed uh, betrayed uh betrayed yeah that's uh switzerland right they've seized as russian assets money 
preventing people from closing their accounts do it crazy ass crazy ass or opening accounts right pascal i wonder though what other violations of neutrality do you know about uh talking about sort of um privacy privacy in switzerland uh, the united uh united states demanded that switzerland reveal all banking records for u.s citizens but basically it was for everyone so switzerland gave up its neutrality protecting its own sovereignty by releasing that information to the united states so as soon as that happened switzerland became a proxy switzerland lost its sovereignty as far as i'm concerned right switzerland took a side and it was a side of fucking psychopaths right elder god european values are getting uh, pissed on yeah for sure for sure on um by the global agenda yeah by the global agenda 100 percent nicholas chicho one of the best things about russia when uh big corporations left many uh secretly stayed and continued operating in russia but russia did not did no begging of them to stay and just straight up ripped off big brands like mcdonald's and continued on as usual yeah 100 percent, 100 percent, right galaxy one on twitch chicho heard of uss attack in the red sea uh people mentioned that this uh as soon as we start the stream i didn't i didn't catch it before the stream started so i don't know the details of it so i don't know the details of it but look we've talked about this this is part 10 of this global map we're in world war three behave accordingly this is not going to die down until citizens of the western world hold their war criminals warmongers monsters dictators technocrats accountable for their crimes against humanity that's when this all ends otherwise we're going down in fucking flames <laughs> behave accordingly invest accordingly protect your family that's what's going on right plutarchus mcdonald's could be renamed mcdonald's <laughs> Nicholas, I think 100% here in Northern Ireland is growing, but the uh, some towns and cities in mainland UK are like walking into another country, country culture. Yeah, Europe is in deep fucking shit. Deep, and we talked about this a long time ago. We knew it was going to be in deep shit, right? Black Ops 2 might come true. Platonic Polaris. The UN is sadly not a place of honest negotiations for peace. Still, the international law of sovereign nations is an ideal uh, to criticize real politics. We'll see where it goes. Joel on, since on Twitch, how are you doing? Uh, Chicho, a USS worship has been attacked by drones from Yemen, apparently. Bee stings. Let's see what happens. The U.S. The odds are U.S. will try to escalate. Uh, let's see what happens. I don't want to see personally. I personally, in my opinion, this is what should happen. All U.S. warships from this region leave. It's not going to happen. But this is this is what should happen. They should leave. They should put out a statement in the U.N. The United States saying that they do not stand by genocide. And they will no longer support Israel with funds, with military, with intelligence to do what they are doing. Literally, that step might save, prevent the United States from full on collapsing, right? They will not support Israel. They should pass a motion in the United Nations that Israel will go under full sanctions and economic blockade and until it ceases ceases to commit genocide and they should hold them accountable for what they have done and they should rebuild all of gaza they should pay for it anyway and all the settlements in the west bank must pull out the golan heights must be uh, given back to syria northern israel which is occupied Lebanese land must return to the Lebanese and the war criminals in Israel they fuck they, they came out they said they want to commit genocide all those people that said that they want to commit genocide and they've been acting accordingly must be arrested okay and you want to give uh, 
respectability back to the Hague, ship them all to the Hague, try them for war crimes, and do what you do to war criminals, especially those that commit genocide. That's what should happen. Okay. Until then, uh, fucking Western world burning down. Woo! Off we go. Right. That's what's gonna happen, in my humble opinion. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, fish. So what do we do? Match it going down for sure. Match it going down on sensor tube indeed. South Africa. Salutations, Paul Ferber from South Africa. Hope you're doing well. Um, Alex, why do you have Iceland as peace when they're part of NATO? Yes, they have no army, but they're not neutral. I, I agree to a certain degree, but one of the reasons we did this peace stuff was talking about safe places to go to, right? To, to uh, avoid the carnage that is to come, right? But I agree, they're part of NATO, but officially NATO isn't at war with Russia yet. We know it is, right? So when NATO goes full on war with Russia, all of this will be red, really, okay? Baby steps, baby steps. Loki, hey Chicho and Chad, glad to see you live. Salutations, salutations. Jeremy, uh, would sanctions cause any major problems for a diverse and agile economy like that of Israel? Oil, I suppose. Israel, you put sanctions on Israel, Israel's done, it's over, right? US stops sending Israel money, Israel's done, over, right? UK, Europe stops supporting Israel, Israel's done over and the direction that they're going some people are mentioning that actually uh the people that are in control of israel their intention is to destroy israel right because according to certain things that have been floating around for a number of decades right israel is not really the promised land of the 12th tribe of israel it's actually the united states all right the Israelites. Uh, Paul Ferber. I am very well. Thanks, Chicho. We are falling apart quite rapidly, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, South Africa is not in good shape. Not at all. Not at all. And that's the direction it was going in. It was slow mo in the in the mid 1990s, right? I had a, I was working with a colleague, South African, young guy in uh, Vancouver. A really nice, really nice guy, really nice guy, right? And he said their their family came out. And I said, good, because South Africa is going off a cliff. It's just slow mo right now, right? Unfortunately, unfortunately. I'm back on Twitch. Uh, Galaxy One Chicho, what do you think of Germany's immigration uh, politics? EU has a big problem with that, uh, with that taking people, but not improving their infrastructure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a clown show. They're basically doing it to collapse Europe because they're globalist fucking little fucktarts, right? They're traitors to European nations. Like, I have no idea how these people came in, how they're still maintaining control. They're actually literally put into power to annihilate the European economy to annihilate European living standards, right? Like what they did in Libya, European citizens, it was with France, UK, United States, Canada was involved as well, okay? And I believe Italy was involved as well, right? But what should have happened when Libya got annihilated? Citizens of Europe should have arrested your leaders in France, in the UK, if any American leaders came to Europe, they should have been arrested on the spot. Same with the Canadians. Put them, for, put them on trial for crimes against humanity. End of story. That's what should have happened, right? If that had happened, then the mass migration crisis in Europe and the economic downfall of Europe would not have come to be. You would have proved to the global majority, the global majority, everybody else, that you will not stand by idly when your leaders, so-called leaders, those in power, annihilate countries. Libya. Huh? The country with the highest standard of living in all of Africa. 
and the West annihilated it. It was incredible. It was incredible to witness. It was incredible to witness. Loki, can I ask uh, on Sensor 2, can I ask what your point of view on Algeria's stance is today? Uh, conflicts uh, look like uh, leading somewhere worse. Uh, I think this whole region is going to blow sky high. It, it's going to continue, but it's going to become, it's going to go, let's put it this way, it's going to go through some serious turmoil. Right. It's going to go through some serious turmoil, but the turmoil is going to make it stronger collectively, right? Because what they are doing is pulling away from the Western world. Like, for example, take Nigeria, for example. Okay. Nigeria was promised, the leaders, leaders were promised riches beyond their wildest dreams if they would roll out a digital currency and help build a pipeline going through Niger, Algeria, into Europe to feed Europe with energy, right? Nigeria leaders said, right on, right? They said, okay, dokie, we will do. They tried to roll out the centralized digital currency, right? And it failed miserably. It was only 5% uptake and there was mass riots and they pulled it back, said, okay, we can't fucking roll the shit out. Right? People are going to burn us alive, right? Niger came out and said, fuck this noise. France and the West has been colonized, has colonized us for decades, stealing our resources. There was a coup here. They overthrew their puppets and told France to go fuck itself, right? And the, now they have to pay market price for resources. So Nigeria wasn't able to roll out a central digital currency their pipeline of building a pipeline going through here to europe is done it's over no more pipeline right and what they've started to do and go well fuck this our alliance with the west is not really working out too well right two of the main things that we had planned on doing to make us rich are no more maybe we should start leaning east towards China and Russia and India. Now they're in talks to join BRICS. The odds are in the next round of the countries that are going to join BRICS is going to be Nigeria in there. And they're in talks to join OPEC plus, 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 right? So Nigeria is now leaning away from the West. Niger already has. Mali already has. Libya is a shit show. Egypt is already heading in the direction. I'm not 100% about Chad or Sudan. There's still conflict there. Ethiopia, uh, Ethiopia was just in a civil war, right? And the Western side lost, right? So this whole region is slowly coming together and saying, okay, our allegiances with the West is done. They're losing. Ukraine proved that. They're fucked. Russia is sending african countries free food wheat you can call it bribery if you want or you could say it's uh what do you call it uh, aid right the us does that europe does that why sh shouldn't russia be able to do that right some people would argue so this whole region plus the global majority is starting to pull away from the western world and leaning towards China and Russia and India and Iran and countries that are done with imperialism, right? They want economic security. That's what's going on. As I've said before, we in the West are in danger of being on the wrong side of the wall, right? That's my feelings on it. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going back to sensor to uh, not sensor to, to twitch uh, Germany's yeah Germany with that but I'm scrolling on I'm scrolling on Joe does uh, Iceland even have a military uh, I don't know if they do it's like 20 of them <laughs> right <laughs> they probably have like a Coast Guard that's what I think Joe Chicho what uh, do you think of recent election in the Netherlands Every, the, the Western world is going to go right. Actually, a huge chunk of the world is going to go right. 
I, we mentioned this before, this pendulum swung so far to the left, right? So far to the left that you had complete government control. Like in Canada, that's one example, right? They made a mockery. Canada made a mockery of the Nuremberg Code. They disregarded two of the pillars of our society, foundations of what our society is built on, which is informed consent and bodily autonomy, right? They not only completely disregarded it, they passed mandates where they took away informed consent, bodily autonomy. There are nurses still not allowed to work in hospitals and healthcare settings in British Columbia. Meanwhile, the healthcare in British Columbia has completely fucking collapsed. We had nurses here in our hospitals in BC that are working 30 shifts in a row, 30 fucking shifts in a row. That's illegal, right? And by the way, nurse shift, they work 12 hours a day, right? 12 hours a day for a month, no breaks in between, right? 12 hours a day for a month, no breaks in between. That's illegal, right? Usually it's four days in a row, okay? To work another one, you're supposed to get paid double, sometimes triple time, and you can't work more than like legally five or six or something. My partner is a nurse, but she hasn't done the hospital setting because she can't work in a hospital setting because our government took away bodily autonomy and informed consent and made a mockery of the Nuremberg Code. Meanwhile, we have friends, we knew people that they actually turned to us and said, we're okay with that. I turned to them and go, what are you fucking do low IQ pieces of shit? You're okay with tyranny? You're okay with Nuremberg Code mockery? Taking away bodily autonomy and informed consent? Get the fuck out of my face, right? I wasn't that harsh with them, but they knew what I meant, okay? That's what's going on. That's what's going on. So it's gone so far left, now it's gonna go fucking so far right, it's gonna make leftoids head spin, right? It's, it's, it's boo, with all their blood clots and heart attacks and myocarditis, pericarditis, dementia kicking in, boosted up the yin yang mask wearing clowns, they're gonna fucking, their heads are gonna spin. Their heads are gonna spin so hard. You know how hard their heads are gonna spin? In British Columbia, Canada, on the West Coast, we have never had a conservative MP in the parliament, in the provincial parliament, as far as I know. Right now, we have two or three of them, and the conservatives are gaining ground. We've never had that happen in, in this part of the world. Like, this is as left as you can get, this, this area. Left as you can get. Like, they're so left, they got their heads off Lenin's ass, right? Now, starting to go conservative. Right, right? That's going to happen across the Western world, across the world, period. Okay. John, hi from Canada, Chicho. I like math now more than 15 years ago. Nice doing some in college. Thanks you for the geopolitics. My pleasure, John. My pleasure. And I'm gonna start live streaming math more. Uh, I'll tell you guys. Should I tell you guys about it now? Uh, no, I'll tell you guys about it later. But I'm gonna start building my math curriculum online because the odds are my connection with the school system here in British Columbia is gonna be severed because the, I'll tell you now because the government has come out and said. Uh, they want biometrics of anyone working with students through a school system, right? And for me, I have uh, some of my work comes from a school that I've been working with for a number of years now, right? I teach a lot of their kids, and they've come out and said, the government in British Columbia is doing this to a lot of male teachers, educators, and they want their biometrics, right? And I said, I ain't fucking giving up my biometrics to no tyrannical government. No government, period, and no tyrannical government. All right? Biometric means they, they want fingerprints. They, yeah, fingerprints, Cheryl. So <laughs> I just found out in the last three months, right? Because another school wanted to work with me and they couldn't because I hadn't built a relationship with them. And I, like, because I've done for 25 years, I've been teaching and I've had criminal record check done multiple times, right? And well, clear, like, like <laughs> I'm Chicho, right? But now the government here has come out and said, uh, from what I understand, they're doing this to, uh, requesting this from a lot of males, 
mainly males from what I understand, they want their fingerprints. And I turned to them and said, no fingerprints. I will not give up my biometrics, right? And they said, well, that's the law that the government's passed. I go, well, uh, sorry, <laughs> I refuse to give up my biometrics for a paycheck. I'm going to take a serious hit financially. Just imagine my partner as a nurse couldn't work in this tyrannical state because boop, boop, bodily autonomy first, informed consent first, Nuremberg Code first, right? The government said, oh, you can't work in healthcare, even though healthcare is collapsing and we need lots of nurses. Fuck that. We took a serious hit on that front, right? Now they're saying, oh, you can't teach through a school system if you don't give up your biometrics. I tell them, fuck you. I ain't going to give up my biometrics. So I'm not, some of the, my students will actually get additional funding somehow from somewhere else to retain my services, but it will most likely be cut in half. So a lot of time is going to be freed up. I'm, I'm going to take a serious hit in pay, like huge. <laughs> like if I wasn't as uh, wise as uh, to who the government is and what centralized institutions are, I would be homeless, right? But lucky for me, I don't centralize my income through one source, right? Even though we're going to take a serious set and tighten the belt a little bit, right? So I have to build up my uh, resources coming in from other branches again. And one of the things I'm going to start doing, the time that's freed up because I won't be able to work with this institution anymore, with the school system anymore, that time I'm going to start doing live streaming math instructional videos and at the same time doing lump sum writing and building up the modules that we need to build up because this needs to be done pretty quick uh, because in Canada and the Western world, they might require biometrics to access the internet. And if you think that's a conspiracy theory, you haven't fucking been paying attention. So that's what's going on from my front. Okay. So there's a lot of shit that I'm dealing with in the background that uh, I haven't been sharing because we'll see how it all plays out. But it's everything that I've talked about before, right? Decentralize yourself. Make sure you know what's coming. Make sure who you, you know who your enemy is. You know who these people are. Make sure you pay attention to tyranny. Make sure you stand on the right side of history. Okay. I'm scrolling down, Yang. I'm scrolling down. Xenophore, uh, no, Galaxy One, Chicho. Panama City are currently protesting against the Canadian coal firm. Good. Good. Canadian mining companies are some of the most fucking horrendous uh, companies in regards to human rights violations anywhere, right? Dancing Vigil, how are you doing? Happy Sunday and happy Monday to you. Joe Chicho. Italy, Sweden, Austria, and now Netherlands have recently gone to the right. So it uh, certainly looks that way. 100%. 100%. And gang, do not forget. Do not forget. Free Assange. Free Assange. Free Assange. Julian Assange, a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, countless resources available online. Okay. <laughs> Twice cooked pork. Got an extra large coffee for this stream. Nice. Joe Chicho, have you been following this new pneumonia outbreak? Yeah, yeah, I've been following it. Yeah, a little bit. It, uh, like people saying, oh, pen, the lockdowns and stuff coming. We'll see if the fucking to try to push that shit. Let's see how far, how much maneuver maneuverability they have we'll see i wonder if it's pneumonia kit like just just imagine the first thing that came out you got to protect your grandma new and broke court forget about it protect grandma bodily tummy no bodily tummy protect grandma informed consent fuck trust us just shut the fuck up no informed consent protect grandma right now what are they doing oh my god protect billy protect billy Nuremberg Corps, forget Nuremberg Corps, protect Billy. Yeah. Uh, informed consent, no informed consent. No, 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 no. Protect Billy. No more of bad. Oof, oof, oof. Right? No coughing. Oh, oh, oh. They die. The, little Billy, little Billy dying. Protect little Billy. Fuck off. Right? I wonder how many clowns will believe that shit. Elder God, yeah, I told Elder God. The Elder God was the only person that knew what was going on with me. Uh, and I told him a few days ago. Right? I tell Elder God everything. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so, uh, Loki on the sensor too. Can I ask you, ask what your point of view on uh, algae? Oh, I already read that one. Uh, Joe, uh, hi, hi from Canada, Chicho. I, oh yeah, I read that one too. Do you think U.S. would ever, Alex? Do you think U.S. would ever be held accountable for any crimes that it uh, did? I assume answer is no. Then how to solve it? I think the United States collectively is being held accountable. The rest of the world is moving away from the United States. Why? I mean, United States is, you know, huge consumer base, big country, resources, entertainment. But why is the rest of the world moving away from the United States? Because the United States has been fucking scorched earthing the earth, right? Countries. Any country that didn't agree with everything the United States had to do, the United States came in and fucking killed everybody and scorched earth it. Guess what? Bully people long enough and they'll fucking walk away from you, right? The United States is paying a price. Are the leaders going to be paying a price? Well, let's see what American citizens do, right? They normalize torture. And as an American, are you okay with that, right? Cheryl, oh, that's, oh, that's a norm here. Ever since the uh, Sandusky abuse stuff on Penn State, a fingerprint? To teach in where you are, you need fingerprint? No, nah, I've never fucking heard it. Doth. Prove it. Just leave me on that. Insane stuff. Insane stuff. Sure. But it's everyone, not just males. Yeah. Uh, Gerald, I can honestly tell you, if any place that requires my biometrics to teach mathematics can go fuck themselves. I ain't doing that shit. Especially, like, the tyranny in that we're living under is unbelievable. Right? They're tracking people's phone illegally they've been seizing freezing bank accounts illegally no that's crazy elder god fingerprints can be used to set up agitators by the government yeah yeah you don't give them shit mark the toast i've got a massive cold it's just exploded uh earlier today ouch dancing with your poor billy poor billy poor billy <laughs> nicholas the accent <laughs> Oh my god, my grandparents would come and hunt me from uh, the grave if I if I went woke. Yeah, yeah. As they should, right? Yuck uh, edictor. Yuck, yuck edictor. Yuck edictor. I mean, all this normalizing the torture comes from people's hating from their, their selves. I wonder when it's gonna end. I wonder too. I wonder too. I wonder too. How's it getting that? Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, I'm all the way in the chat, in the bottom of chat, I'm everywhere. Nice, nice. I never did my intro. Crazy. Gang, uh, we got seven people watching on Rumble, we got 45 on Twitch, and we got 13 people on uh, Sensor 2. Oh, at its peak, we had 34 people on Sensor 2. I'm guessing we started getting not recommended <laughs> we start losing people when we start talking about some serious shit <laughs> right so at this peak we had like 34 people on censor too right uh but we got 44 people on uh, twitch going on right now fun believing ghosts is woke believing ghosts is woke is it oh yeah i got the uh, snacks i got uh, radishes white radish really yummy they're really big i cut them up huh went to the farmer's market yesterday so good yuck hi chicho it's been a while i've uh, haven't seen you last thing i remember you told me that you are not a npc <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty far away from NPC. I like interaction. I like to make my own choices. In uh, GTA, I used to run over NPCs a lot. <laughs> Shoot them up. Follow the white radish, Dalf says. Yeah, radishes are amazing. Like, really. Just any root stuff, like from the soil. Root vegetables rock. Put 
plutonic pluris, if you start asking the ghost to check its privilege or for the diversification of the ghost in your region, you may be woke. The only picture the trailer for the new GTA comes out this week. Nice. The best GTA gang. What? Which one was the best GTA? Driving wise was uh, San Andreas. Driving was amazing, but as far as I'm concerned, the best GTA was Vice City. Vice City was fucking amazing. Vice City was the best. What a game! <laughs> really, I'm spitting all over myself. What a game, Vice City. Red Dead is the best. You like Red Dead? I play a little bit, not much. I'd rather drive a car than ride a horse. I like riding horses in real life. Marco, I had these sweet, uh, Marco says, I had these sweet radish at a Korean fried uh, chicken place. Nice, delicious. Worms are for the soil. <laughs> so Red Dead Redemption. No, Cheryl, I was in the field this week and we were daring a newer colleague to grab one of the tillage radishes and take a bite. They're like wicked hot uh, daikons, are they? Ooh, sounds delicious. Sounds delicious. Alagos says to Galaxy One, welcome to the server indeed. Nicholas, I never seen a radish eaten as a snack. They're they good? Or are you just used to fruits and veggies? I, I'm used to fruits and veggies. I love fruits and veggies. Fruits, I fucking mum fruit muncher. But yeah, radish. Super good, super juicy. And they're like plump radishes. They're like really good. Right? Uh, Baseman, Vice City was amazing. Uh, have you ever played uh, Sleeping Dogs? No, no. I've never played Sleeping Dogs. What's Sleeping Dogs? Uh, yeah, Vice City was so good, so good, right? Lonely Piggy, uh, the new GTA is actually in Vice City again too. Apparently, she joked. What? Well, if I can't start teaching, maybe I'm gonna start live streaming Vice City. I finally start live streaming gaming on Twitch. <laughs> Do all voodoo on me, dancing Mitchell to the God. You like I cannot. I feel like your DNA don't allow you to be old, haha. <laughs> Joe Chicho, my favorite game with the happiest memories has got to be Little Big Planet. What a great game! What a great game! I only played it at a friend's place. They had it, and they were going off on it for a while. What a great game! What a great game! Uh, Marco to his Korean fried chicken is the fucking best. I was so satisfied, one hundred percent. <laughs> for sure <laughs> so, oh my god so good sliced red reddish uh, dipped in a little salt Cheryl says oh my god so good nice 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 sleeping dogs micro twist says is amazing I've never played did space invaders have NPCs mm, no space invaders just had little <laughs> space aliens <laughs> space invaders was fun yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. I'm gonna have a lot of time free, right? I need to generate money. It's gonna be online, right? Plutonic Flores, yes, Chicho gaming stream. I would love to do. I've been meaning to do, but I haven't had a chance. Elder God, if you can't go around the city uh, on a game and can't kill everyone, it's boring. <laughs> Nancy Mitchell, well, this is a tangent from world events, indeed. We go off on tangents a fair bit. Xenomorph. We got real leaks three days before the GTA 6 trailer from a developer's son. It's kind of funny, really. Wow, wow. Baseman, Chicho gaming stream would be fantastic. Would love to. Would love to. I'm a fun gamer. <laughs> oh, fun gamer. Uh, let's see. Let's see what's going on on uh, Sensor 2. People commenting. Da, 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 da. Hello. I'm from uh, Algeria, Chicho. And yes, we still in war against this cycle of fascist regimes that seems would never be bro uh, broke in 2020 people got tired uh, of blood so they started protesting but the powers that uh, but to be honest it was a it was a play yeah the what do you call it the uh, arab uprising was a play as well and a lot of the stuff has been a play but real change is happening it's slow-mo it's slow-mo the Western world has been 
in control of basically all of Africa for a number of decades, right? So the shift away from this tyranny is going to be slow-mo. I wish it could happen faster. I, I really do. But it's not. It's, it's going to be slow. It takes decades to undo. It's like, it's like a body, right? When you get injured, it takes you a while to recuperate from that injury, right? If you're health is not the best and it's because of the types of food you're eating your health doesn't improve automatically or rapidly let's say when you start eating better it takes time for that transition to occur and that's what's going to happen with africa with the majority of the world really now that the western world is crumbling and it is crumbling again and it is crumbling right Da, 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 da. I like random interactions. I like random interactions, exploring landscapes and calm corners in such games. Joe Chicho, I'm not sure how much you follow tech news, but what are your thoughts on the Apple AI, Sam Altman, and Q Star algorithm drama? I, I haven't been following it. Open AI, I read a little bit. You know, they ousted him, now he's back, and all this jazz. But I don't trust Silicon Valley technocrats. Fuck them. Like, they're fucking fascists. So as far as I'm concerned, all these tech companies shouldn't be from just Silicon Valley or Tel Aviv because there's a shitload of them in Israel, right? Uh, I want tech companies to be decentralized, right? So fuck OpenAI. That's my take, right? Sun Clover, Chicho, Stream GTA 6 has to happen will pay <laughs> i'll try <laughs> we see where we go <laughs> uh, if we talk about this, would gta uh, 6 be woke or some woke wokey feel depends it depends where it's made who funded it right who funded it it's um rockstar rockstar does gta i think right but was has rockstar been bought out by someone else I think it's Rockstar, isn't it? GTA, it must be. Dancing Vigils, all empires fall. There are no exceptions, indeed. Yuck. How do you consider the people coming from south south to Europe? I feel kind of weird for European people. Uh, look, the reason, the main reason that you're seeing a mass migration from Africa and from this region into Europe is because people in Europe allowed their fucking governments these fucking technocratic world economic forum globalist fucking neocon psychopaths to go scorched earth on the rest of the world created a shit ton of refugees right and then the same leader said welcome come come we will take you and they all went okay right so you have to appreciate I feel, I feel you. In Canada, <laughs> fucking Canada, you're crazy. Major housing crisis, right? Guess what? In the last two years, Canada has allowed over 1.5 million immigrants to come to Canada, right? Housing hasn't increased that much, right? You look at in population of Canada's like this, and then, whoop, go <laughs> like this, right? In the last year or something, one and a half million people flooded into Canada. Well, shit, guess what? They all need, need a place to live, right? So rent went through the roof, housing prices went through the roof and shit like this, right? So same shit is happening in Europe. The Western leaders, this is their agenda. They want to collapse, they want to reduce our living standard. People that have been living here for a number of decades. Why is that happening? Because we didn't hold these motherfuckers accountable. We didn't hold them accountable for their war crimes, crimes against humanity, for them fucking us over. They, we let them run amok, and they're running amok. We allowed them to do this. And now people are pissed off. Oh, you know, our societies are collapsing. Well, no shit, you allowed it to happen. What are you going to do about it? You're going to sit there and go, bad immigrant? Maybe. But that's not a fucking solution. Hold the motherfuckers accountable. The people that did this to you and me, right? People that did this to us. 
Elder God says three months to fully cleanse your body. I think it's longer. Three months to fully cleanse your body of certain things, but I think uh, it takes longer than three months. Six months to a few years. Create a problem and solve it. Create a problem and solve it. First time chat, Jack. XO. Morning, mate. Morning, morning. Plutonic Explorers. The West, as an expression of rational enlightenment and tradition, should survive. The West, as a starting point of globalist hubris and pretension, should be abandoned by the West's own citizens. Well said, Plutonic Explorers. 100%. 100%. Water good. Water good. Yeah. Kinda kinda their citizens avoiding the responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Citizens avoiding responsibility of doing any educating themselves. What you want to do research into what goes into your body? What are you crazy? Right? Well, believe us. Trust us. Do what we say. Right? Independent research? You question us? That's what the fucking Western world fucking turned into. Anybody that fucking said, hey, can I look into this? They said, conspiracy theorist, orange man bad, you, you. What the fuck are you looking at? I'm like, what? Look, I just want to read the paper. I want, I want to read the scientific paper. I want to look at the data. <gasps> you conspiracy theorists, do not question authority. Do not question these benevolent fucking leaders, technocrats. They know what is best for us and the world, right? We must go annihilate bad, bad person in Libya, right? We must go annihilate bad person in Iraq, yeah? Yeah? Oh, bad, bad, bad in, in, in Afghanistan, right? Oh, Putin, bad, bad. Oh, all this bad around the world. And then those motherfuckers turn around and go, oh, your, your relative that wants to look at the data and question us? Bad. No, fucking shun them. Don't let them go inside your restaurant. Tell them they're bad. And people fucking did this. You know who those people are? Keep them at a distance. Right? Keep them at a distance. Because they're fascists. The low IQ fascists at that because they don't even know they're fascists. Right? Clowns, clowns. Uh, Joe Chicho, the same people who are okay with mass immigration are often the same individuals who are against building new infrastructure because of the environment. <laughs> Crazy ass. <laughs> or they want to ban gas. <laughs> what the fuck? How are you gonna eat? How are you gonna feed all these people? Jack, I saw a video of a child from Palestine crushed into uh, pieces as tiny as pebbles. Prayers go out to anyone who is affected by war. Indeed, indeed, Jack. Elder God, quote, When law and duty are one, united by religion, you never become fully conscious, fully aware of yourself. You're always a little less than an individual, end quote. Yuck. Yay. God bless us. I believe in you and now give me give my RPG. Ronnie, salutations. How are you doing? Dancing Mitchell. Is this guess the accent? Is this guess this is Chicho Chicho rambling? <laughs> water is getting privatized. Yeah, many parts of the world, right? They want to commodify water. So fucking bad. So fucking bad. Uh, Jamie on uh, uh, sensor tube or Jeremy, not Jamie. Jeremy, daikon radish are not delicious but are amazing, good for you. Daikon is, is uh, really good if you use a little bit of uh, soya sauce, a little bit of dip on the side, and dip the daikon in there. It's so good. Uh, and then Jeremy asked, Do you think Orange Man might buy Twitter? No, why would you buy Twitter? Twitter is a fuck. Elon Musk spent 40 billion on Twitter. Fucking <laughs> just fucking create another platform, do something else. Like, 
it, it was good to a certain degree what he did because he allowed discussion regarding shit that you can't talk about on censor to right uh, but we'll see where it goes but 40 billion dollars man you could do a lot with that Alex Chicho have you heard Bill Gates in his in interview yesterday saying that uh, pandemic is a good thing because it would improve and develop our health research and prevent even bigger pandemics yeah pretty sure everyone here we all agree what should happen to Bill Gates right we all agree what should happen to Bill Gates and I think at some point it will happen to him and his ilk uh, that's what happens to monsters right that's what happens to monsters Ronnie da, 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 da. I got into office three times a week now Papa uh, galaxy one Chicho we need more open source social media websites 100% 100% agreed galaxy one uh, he's turning X into a WeChat but in a different way if he keeps his word he will provide more transparency we'll see if he keeps his word but Musk did fly here uh, get on his knees do a little and swallowed right so Musk you know he did okay with allowing certain type of discussion on Twitter right but he still banned certain other people from going on on there like Alex Jones but then he flies over here and sucks a little and then swallows so I don't know I don't trust the multi-billionaires right in general do I know any of them I know multi-millionaires uh, from the few that I've known in my life I say 20% were really nice people and I would trust them so maybe 10% of multi-billionaires are nice people is Elon Musk a nice person for going to Israel and saying oh all of Hamas must be annihilated well shit isn't that what uh, Ahmad, was it Ahmadinejad? I forget who it was in Iran said the Zionists should all be eliminated. What's the difference? Like Musk says, and people, oh, he wants to commit genocide. Well, Musk just said all of this faction should be eliminated. Like it just doesn't make sense, right? But it is what it is. <laughs> all the God says his best. Bill Gates needs to meet Kissinger. Yeah, yeah, on his knees yuck i saw enough from people hating their self in, in in south like people really broke deep inside i uh, i can't be sure is this all about religion if they uh problem why they open the gates to europe or canada lowering the life standard idea you said really makes sense yeah yeah they wanted they, they want to keep con complete control right when they want to keep control they must create chaos in those regions create the problem and then say oh we have the solution for you no let's get rid of you motherfuckers that create a problem you're a cancer in our society and then we'll figure out a solution for the problem that you created you are no longer in charge to take care of the problem that you created that's what we should be saying to these motherfuckers right Plurotin, Pluroti, Plu, Plutorino, Plutorino, Chicho. What do you think of uh, Republicans in America apparently picking Nikki Haley to go against Trump? <laughs> I've been buying Donald Trump rookie trading cards. That's what I've been doing. Right? That's what I've been doing. I do. I do have a couple of comic book calls. Should we do? <laughs> I'm waiting for another one to come. <laughs> maybe we do them all in one shot maybe we do them all in one shot i should open them up should i open them up i'm gonna go grab them are we done with the map we're gonna do a comic book haul gang we're gonna do a comic book haul uh galaxy one uh chicho yeah the the flight yes yes okay the flight to uh there was probably a move to keep some people in the shadow check yes okay we're doing a comic book haul gang i'm gonna go get a comic book i'm gonna get two packages i've been sitting on well, 
I'm not even sure this. <laughs> okay, gang, let's do comic book call, comic book call, comic book call, comic book call. 15 minute warning, 15 minute warning, we're gonna do this in 15 minutes. Okay, gang, hold on, let me do this. Let me bring up uh, my comic book haul. Let's do comic book haul, comic book haul. Uh, let me tell you what we ended up getting. Da -da 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 and I have another one package coming my way. Okay, I do have another package coming my way. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you what we got. I'm gonna crack open. Oh, I gotta get, grab an exact one. We got two packages. One of whoop, hold on. <laughs> one of them is this guy, Nidra. Okay, one of them is this guy. Okay. I'll take it to here, but I can't show you the rest because it's got the address on it and stuff. And another one is this guy. I'll show you this here. Another one is this guy, okay? Small guy. So let's do this guy first. Okay, let me show you this guy. <laughs> yeah, this guy, this guy ended up uh, costing. Mm -hmm. This one ended up costing. Uh, Da -da 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 -da. I ended up paying, uh, it was listed for 65 US and I ended up paying 50 US for it. I, I made him an offer, right? And it cost, uh, it cost $15 in shipping, right? So this thing cost $65 uh, all in. Okay. Nice. Nice packaging job. Do you guys want to know what this is? Do you guys want to know what this is? Can you guess what this is? <laughs> Do you want to get to know what this is? <laughs> Do you want to know what this is? Another package. Look at this. Serious bubble. That's good. Free bag. Trading cards. <laughs> trading cards. Trading cards. <laughs> nice. Okay, check this one out. Because we ended up getting one of these. Drug war trading. <laughs> we got enough drug war trading cards. Check this out. Check this out. So $65 for this. It, it's the first solo of these that I've bought because we bought these in a pack. Rock Bottom Awards. The Comedy Channel presents the Rock Bottom Awards, right? This has the second Donald Trump rookie card. And I found out later after we did the stream because we looked at this. Uh, Russian card, not not yet, not yet. I don't have the Russian cards yet. I don't have the Russian cards yet. I'll, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's on my watch list, right? <laughs> oh man, that looks awesome. And it's got the number two uh, Donald Trump rookie card and the number three Donald Trump rookie card because I didn't know that there was there was uh because we we looked at the, the second one, but I didn't realize there was a third one in here as well, or the second uh, rookie card here. So I'm going to show you this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to show you which one is the. These are amazing. We're going to do a read on these. These things are phenomenal, and these are in great shape. Look at this. Beautiful, just beautiful. Dangerous career move. Who is this? I don't know what that is. Right. Rock Bottom Awards. Let me show you. Look at this. Oh, I can't show you that one. That was the Madonna booby. <laughs> Where is... Okay, here, check this out. Check this out. 
<laughs> with these here. So, card number, we looked at this one. Uh, three is never good enough, and we read the back. And this was uh, Donald Trump, right? Rookie card, not a rookie card, but Donald Trump card. Right? Was that Ar Ar Arnold Schwarzenegger holding in the D? So that's card number 27, right? So this is Donald Trump, right? Right there. Donald Trump. I mean, read the back of this during a previous comic book haul. And check that out. Here is card number one, Rock Bottom Awards. And Donald Trump's there too, right? I didn't know this when we first looked at this, right? Up here, up there. Right, let's see. There he is. There's the Donald <laughs> and a whole bunch of nasty ass people, right? And a whole bunch of nasty ass people. <laughs> I need these salty God says, <laughs> right? These look great. We're gonna do a read on these, like, like seriously. Oops, who's this? Foot and mouth, Ted Koppel. Haha. -ha. Look at this one. This one's look great. Who's this? John Suno. Who was? Who's this? Darky Toothpaste. What the hell? <laughs> this is Ronald Reagan. <laughs> awesome. What the hell is this one? Best Demigog. Who's this? Jesse Helms, Jesse Helms. Look at this. This is supposed to be Jesse Helms. Right? Jesse Helms. These are, the year on these are 1990. The year on these are 1990. These, these are amazing. These are amazing. So now I have two of these. Two of these sets. Right? That's <laughs> toast. Like the artwork is absolutely amazing. Huh? Who is this? We wish you a Merry Christmas. Huh? Reading ASAP. You checking it out? <laughs> Crossover X. <laughs> what the hell is this? Pandering with uh, Abaddon. What the hell is this? Look at this. Oh, like the artwork is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, yeah, these are really good shape. So well worth it. Well worth it. Like, I think as an investment, this good. Oh, did I put these out of order? Oopsie. That's number eight. That's number seven. Where's the number one? There's number two. Oh, I messed up number one. The Madonna one is actually really good. Where did I put number one? Don't misplace it. Oh, there it is. Nice. And there's number one. Okay, I'm going to put these away. And then we're going to look at the next one. Uh, Paul on Sensitive Chicho. You madman. That isn't Mammy World Conflicts. <laughs> well, in World Conflicts, there's a lot of actors. And this is very much acting. All right, what's going on in World Conflicts. And this is the Rock Bottom Awards, right? Rock Bottom Awards. Woohoo! Number two. This is the second one we got. Right? Should we open this one? Let's open this one. Let's open this one. Ready? This is the second one. Now, this one, check this out. Um, the, the next package that comes uh, is probably going to be the last package I buy off eBay because I'm getting zapped on duty every time now, right? So, ended up buying this one. For $99, okay, uh, view order details. It was $99 and shipping, uh, shipping was expensive. Uh, oh, sorry, no, not $99, hold on a second. No, 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 this one I bought for, um, hold on a second. Oh, no, 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 not this one. Yeah, yeah, no, no, not this one I bought for $99. I'm looking at the wrong one. So I bought it for $99, okay. Uh, shipping was $13.25. Using eBay's global shipping program, so it was really cheap, right? On that front. So it cost me $212 for this US, 
Okay, which comes out to uh, how much is it? Two hundred twelve dollars U.S. is uh, one hundred thirty-three dollars Canadian. Okay, so one hundred thirty-three thirty-three dollars Canadian, but when it got to the border, ended up paying uh, duty ten dollars, GST uh, uh, seven dollars, PST ten dollars, plus uh, ten dollars shipping and handling. Right? Unfucking believable. So an extra thirty-eight dollars in taxes. So another third taxes and handling. So another thirty percent on top of that. Right? So add another forty dollars basically on this. So I paid eleven dollars basically in uh, uh, duty, seven dollars in GST, and then ten dollars in PST plus ten dollars in uh, handling fees. So another forty fucking dollars on an item that I bought on eBay for a hundred dollars US. What a fucking scam! That's how bad Canada has become. This is the third package that I'm getting shipped to me from the states that I'm getting nailed on duty. Third in a row, and the next one I'm going to get nailed on duty as well. And that's going to be the last package I buy uh, on eBay, uh, unless I'm buying from. Canadian seller and I'm buying from someone on eBay in the US that isn't going through eBay's global shipping program that way I can tell them to please list the item for like $50 so I don't pay duty on it because what's happening is Canada is bankrupt and the government is charging a shit ton of taxes on everything right unfortunately infinite money pit them they milking it yeah they're milking us like mad and preventing us from working it's crazy nice package gold look at this this is a fucking like, nice package all right so basically this thing cost me 180 bucks right shouldn't be should be 140 bucks 130 bucks but it costs 180 yeah? because of government taxes <laughs> do you want to know what this is do you know what this is <laughs> run to the core trading cards containing the donald trump rookie card and the rudy giuliani rookie card right so check this out let's see what the condition on these are and we have these right uh so this is me investing in these right would you buy stocks or this i buy this Here's the Rudy Giuliani card. Looks pretty good shape. Looks like really good shape. Not bad. Right? This is 1989. 1989. Okay. Rudy Giuliani. And let's look at the Donald Trump card. Let me put it under lights. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty good pretty good nice condition here's a donald trump card this is the john official donald trump rookie card right you guys have seen this we've done the reading for this right yeah so i basically ended up paying uh 180 bucks canadian and uh that's i thought like these were listed for night they came up buy it now for 99 dollars, and i pulled the trigger right away i didn't know i was going to pay an extra 40 dollars canadian in taxes on it right but it's still a good deal uh, and it's worth more than that okay and it's worth more than that so i'm happy with the buy i'm just pissed off that the government is just milking us like crazy like crazy and at some point we're going to read all these cards as well okay i'm just going to put the donald trump card where it belongs 25 between 25 and 27 so 26 between these two guys right um, I've seen the Donald Trump card graded at 10 PSA uh, grading it's selling for a thousand bucks 900 to thousand to eleven hundred dollars um, solo by itself is selling uh, probably just the Donald Trump card depending on the grade you could probably get it for 100 to 150 to somewhere around there to 200 
in good condition graded at nine is selling for around three hundred dollars or so okay 300 350 dollars i've seen it go for 400 450 dollars right or 9.5 so uh all in all not a bad deal not a bad deal i'm happy with it i'm happy to be sitting on it okay temporary peace on rumble someone's been spending some money mapping world conflicts miss chicho must uh, must love comic books by now <laughs> she does she does the right comic books first time chat hello ag lord uh mill bailey i have a question what's the oldest thing you have ever bought what's the oldest thing that i have ever bought what's the oldest thing that i have ever bought uh uh, like comic books uh my oldest comic book would be in the 1930s uh, i bought some uh pulp books i have some pulp books from 1920s i don't know if i have anything i do have some stuff older than that like family uh stuff but it's family stuff from like generations ago from uh astrakhan from astrakhan up here uh and from georgia tiflisi and stuff like this feels rare enough every penny will worth it it's it's worth it it's worth it um, so it's a good investment donald trump is an incredibly important figure in u.s political stage uh society really right and uh, history has shown that important artifacts go up in value and that's one of the reasons i've been buying these it's one of the best places i can think of to invest my money to park my money right where inflation is not going to depreciate the value of the money and hopefully in the future it'll be worth more right Diver diversify gang i've been mentioning this up the yin yang diversify 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 right don't just hold fiat currency don't just hold gold don't just hold silver don't just hold crypto don't just have stocks have some collectibles have make sure you have products like if you if you need to drive somewhere if you need your car for work make sure your car is in great working condition if you need technology for your work make sure your system is up to date right i've shown you guys i've bought computers and whatnot that's tools you use right uh ag lore so what are you doing i invest in stockings splatonic words <laughs> nice <laughs> fun gang let's call the stream let's call it a stream let's call it a stream Cheryl says, oh yeah, stockings? Ooh, tell us more. Tell us more, Plutonic Pluris. Tell us more on Gilded Plutonic Pluris. Uh, Mon Mongolian stocks has gone through the roof recently. Has it? Nice, nice, nice. I was duped, Plutonic Pluris says. Gang, thank you very much for being here. If you want to join our little community, we do have a Gilded server. You're definitely welcome to join us in Gilded. Uh, continue the conversations that you might have started here uh, i'm happy to be here awesome awesome yuck uh, we do have a patreon page substack page and a subscribe star page you're definitely welcome to follow us there i update our activity there um, we are live streaming on rumble on sensor tube and on twitch for those of you that are supporting this work on twitch on rumble on bitchute on odyssey on sensor tube on patreon on substack on gilded gang thank you very much for the support i hope you're enjoying the content a lot lot more to come we do have a soundcloud page where we upload some of the audio of these uh, live streams as podcasts and these podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes google play amazon or whatever and we are on twitter we're on minds we're on where are we we're on minds we're on getter or we're on um vk we're on uh, substack notes and we're on gap and you're definitely welcome uh, to join us there as well and participate in the con conversation nicholas thanks for the stream chicho peace stream peace stream peace stream peace stream and gang uh i hope you have a fantastic next couple of days we will be back live streaming uh tuesday and we're gonna jar some honey i got a whole ton of honey we bought 
good investment <laughs> we bought a lot of honey and we're going to jar some honey uh bought some garlic and ginger and turmeric too so we're going to make a couple of medicinal jars as well with honey and those things uh sort of sitting in it uh look up some recipes we'll put some together right just in case you know a spoonful keeps the doctor away right uh aside from that i hope you have a nice uh, couple of days hopefully we'll see you guys on tuesday and thank you for being here and mods 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 thank you for being here thank you for the support thank you for having our backs salute everyone